Hello friends, welcome to Infigyan. Today in this video, we are going to solve one very very interesting question from Quadratics. This question is from PRMO 2018, problem number 9. We have one quadratic known x square plus ax plus b equal to 0. Given that a and b are integers, a plus b is a root of the quadratic equation. Then it is set to find maximum possible value of b. So let's get started. We have a plus b is a root of this equation. Then we can plug in x equal to a plus b to our equation. We will get a plus b whole square plus a times a plus b plus b equal to 0. Now we will use a plus b whole square formula and write a square plus b square plus twice ab plus a square plus ab plus b equal to 0. Now a square plus a square is 2a square, 2ab plus ab, 3ab. Then we have b square plus b left, b square plus b, RHS is 0. Now this can be one quadratic equation in A. Let me write here 2a square plus 3b is a multiplier times a. Then we have b square plus b. Now this is one quadratic equation in variable A. So we can compare this equation with our standard equation ax square plus bx plus c and we can write all the coefficients here so that we can apply quadratic formula. So let me write equation 2a square plus 3b times a plus b square plus b equal to 0. If I will compare with the standard equation and I am writing a equal to 2, b equal to 3b, c equal to b square plus b. Now we can use quadratic formula to find the value of a which is integer. So a will be equal to minus b. Let me write formula once plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times ac over 2 times a. Now we have to plug in a, b, c values. So we can get here a equal to minus 3b plus minus square root of 9b square minus 4 times 2 times in the bracket b square plus b over 2 times 2, 4. Or we can write minus 3b plus minus square root of 9b square minus 8b square minus 8b over 4. 9b square minus 8b square is b square. So we will write minus 3b plus minus square root of b square minus 8b over 4. This is our integer a. Now a is one integer. So our square root, this should be rational number or we can say our radicand must be one perfect square. So we will consider radicand b square minus 8b equal to k square. Here k is positive. So let me write here b square minus 8b. This should be equal to k square. k belongs to integer and k should be positive. Now we are going to use completing the square method here. I will write here b square minus 8b. Then I will add 16 to both sides. 
Now you can see this is one perfect square of b minus 4. Whole square. And right hand side we can write k square plus 16. Now we are going to take k square to the LHS. So we will write b minus 4 whole square minus k square equal to 16. Now we know that a square minus b square formula. This is a plus b times a minus b. We will apply this formula to LHS and write b minus 4 plus k times b minus 4 minus k equal to 16. Or we can write b plus k minus 4 in first bracket. In second bracket b minus k minus 4 equal to 16. b is integer and k is positive integer. So we will consider this bracket must be greater than this bracket. b plus k minus 4. This should be greater than or equal to b minus k minus 4. Now we will go for factorization of 16 keeping this inequality in mind and write b plus k minus 4 times b minus k minus 4 equal to 16. Now this quantity is greater first bracket. So we have to keep factors higher towards the first bracket and smaller towards the second bracket. So 16 times 1 product would be 16. 8 times 2 product would be 16. 4 times 4 equality also holds true product would be 16. Now the turn of negative factors. So we will write minus 1 times minus 16. Minus 1 is bigger than minus 16. So we will consider minus 1 times minus 16 product would be 16. Minus 2 times minus 8. Minus 4 times minus 4. So we have to check these six test factors or test values of the brackets. Let me write this chart here. I will write b plus k minus 4 column 1, b minus k minus 4 column 2. Then we will calculate b plus k value just by adding 4 to first column, b minus k value adding 4 to second column. Then we can find out B value just by adding column 3 and 4 and dividing by 2. B plus K plus B minus K over 2. So let me complete here 16 and 1, 8 and 2, 4 and 4, minus 1, minus 16, minus 2, minus 8, minus 4, minus 4. Then we have to target b plus k. So we are going to add 4 here. 16 plus 4, 20. 8 plus 4, 12. 4 plus 4, 8. Minus 1 plus 4, 3. Minus 2 plus 4, 2. Minus 4 plus 4, 0. Now the turn of b minus k value. We are going to add 4 to our second column. So we are going to get 1 plus 4, 5, 2 plus 4, 6, 4 plus 4, 8, minus 16 plus 4, minus 12, minus 8 plus 4, minus 4, minus 4 plus 4, 0. Now our final B value. We have to add both the columns, column 3, column 4 and divide by 2. So 20 plus 5 is 25 divided by 2. Value will be 25 over 2. We will reject as this is non-integer. So we will write here rejected. Rejected. 12 plus 6, 18. 18 over 2 is 9. This one is accepted. 8 plus 8, 16. 16 over 2 is 8. We will accept. 
3 minus 12 is minus 9 divided by 2 minus 9 over 2 rejected. As this is non-integer value, 2 minus 4 is minus 2 over 2 minus 1. 0 plus 0, 0 over 2, 0. These two values are accepted values. Now we will write B values or possible B values 9, 8, negative 1 and 0. So our largest or the maximum possible B value would be 9. So we will write here B is 9, 8, negative 1 and 0. So B maximum would be 9. Our answer is 9. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.